Patriots, Colts on EA Sports. We welcome you to Orlando, Florida for today's game. The Patriots are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. And Rob Baronis has this one teed up as we gear up for kickoff. No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. And here comes Tom Brady. Another incredible season leading the Patriots to a number of come-from-behind victories. I think there's a lot of things you could say about Tom Brady, but when you throw for the yards he throws for, the touchdowns, but the thing that jumps out to me is the fact that he very seldom turns the football over. First down at the 20. Brady, play action. Brady finds Gronkowski. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. A sloppy five-yard penalty on the false start. False start, offense. That leads us to second down. Tom Brady will be taking this one from the gun. Snap it out of the gun. Got a big lane. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. First down on the way. Offense lines up here. Brady, handoff. Marine out to the right. Picked up a couple that time. Now, let's talk about the offensive unit. At tight end, a man who posted record numbers his first three years in the league, Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, such a big target. You know, he's an excellent blocker at the line of scrimmage. So that's nice for your run game. And even if he's not open, the quarterback still able to throw him the football because of his size and his arms and his hands. He can just go up there and get the football. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. First down here after the completion. To the ground. He'll pick up seven this time. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. After running it, it's second down. He'll get it again. Marine off the left side. Ends up picking up three yards. Here's a look at the defensive starters and a good look at the secondary, a group that could be the difference in this game today. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third down following the run. Tom Brady under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the box very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. They're able to move the chains after that last run. 
Offense lines up here. Brady is in the shotgun. Makes the grab and the feet are down. Boy, they got to the quarterback. They hit him, but he was able to still make the play and get the completion. Look at the face of the quarterback right now. He's looking at those offensive linemen going, okay, we got a good play there, but can you give me a little bit more time? He does need more. Tight end in motion. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Second down here. From the gun. And the pass incomplete. On the way, third down. Kareem lined up in the backfield. Step back to Brady from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Field goal attempt is good. It's good. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. Steven Gostowski is readying his team for the kickoff. And as he takes a knee. Foles will now bring the offense onto the field and start this drive at the 20. The Colts are ready to take over now, and their offense heads onto the field. First and 10. They're setting up screen. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Offense lines up here. Go, here go. Out of the shotgun formation. Throws the pass. Out to Smith. Gains may be fine. The Patriots are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. It's third down coming up. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Nick Foles from the shotgun. Finds Evans. The 20, the 10, going to take it home for the touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open to make the catch. The Colts with an extra point try on the way. He made it. The Patriots are hoping for the big return to set up some scoring possibilities before the intermission as they've now fallen behind the scores 7-3. to three. Colts are ready to kick it away. He'll take it from the four. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Patriots get ready to start their drive. Offense lines up here. Brady from the gun. Secures it with two hands. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. 
That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. From the shotgun. Looking across the middle. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. in the shotgun. Has his target. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Colts call a timeout. They're first. And the Patriots are going to punt it. Wants to give it a go here. He's brought down. First down, offense ready for the snap. It's an empty backfield for Foles this time. The Colts line up, everybody split out wide. Looking long. Brown almost got the interception. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Easy, easy. Second and ten. Play action. Folds. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. The Patriots wait, 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 use wait, another wait. timeout here, and they have one left. So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down wait, wait, coming wait. up. The go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Catch made. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. That's a timeout by the D. The punter awaits the snap. Patriots are getting set for their next possession. The defense comes out in the nickel. Snap back to Brady from the gun. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. After nearly turning it over, it's second down. Wasting little time. Brady from the gun. Got the completion. Games 12. Third down on the way. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. Both teams have had their moments so far today, and that's why we have a tight game on our hands. We'll have to see if either side can take control in the second half. All right, let's get it going. Here's the first half highlights. Go to early in the first. The pass is completed. It's a tight coverage, and he'll end up picking up eight yards on the play. Same drive. The connection will be made from the gun, and he'll be tackled at their own 44-yard line. Second and eight pass will be completed out of the gun. And this play will go for six. The lead grows to four. Patriots now late in the second. They'll go with a quick screen, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 12. So that'll wrap it up for us here at the EA Sports Studio. We'll head back now to Orlando for the start of the second half. Three-yard line. 
First down here. Offense lines up here. Foles, handoff, and they tack one down at the 37-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. The Colts from the 37. Gets away. The tackle is made, and the first down is picked up. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. First down here after the run. Drop back, shotgun formation. Throws to the right. Out to Smith. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. Hard to play man-to-man -man against such a quality receiver. You kind of mix up the coverage. You play straight man-to-man, -man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. First down following the long play. Go run it. Here's the handoff. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Second and short. Handoff made. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. Now first and ten. Takes another handoff. That's McCourty making the stop. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Play number six coming up on this drive. Nickel formation here for the defense. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. And that picks up three. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And now we reach the two-minute warning. They come to the line, and it's first down. Handoff out of the eye. Nice tackle. And they'll try to conserve time here with this timeout. Second down. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. And he's in! Well, what a play for the touchdown, and I'll tell you, in the NFL, there's so many good players on offense now, you can never have enough points. So keep padding on that lead. Good job, good score.
the Colts getting set for the point after. Man, the extra point is good. Rob Baronis lining up for the kickoff. Catches it at the six and begins the return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Now on first down. Every snap crucial the rest of the way. Brady is in the shotgun. Caught has the first. First down. Pressure on every snap down. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. And he's thrown to the ground. Second down. Late in the fourth quarter. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. Snap back to Brady from the gun. Brady out to Shane Vereen. They bring him to the turf. The Patriots decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. So much on the line now as they line up for third down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And he's taken down. Going for it on fourth down. Timeout won't be used here. We'll go to the hurry. Brady from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Situations like this sometimes can cause you the game. You're down in the second half. Why would you go for it on fourth down in this situation? You don't get it. That decision might cost you this football game. Takes the knee. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And now they'll try over again on second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. He takes the knee. It'll be third down. Offense lines up here. He takes the knee. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. We've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality. And for you in the booth, you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today in prime time. <laughs> That's right. It's all about me, and it would have been if I could have just got you to be quiet for a few minutes, but it's awesome to win in a game that's featured in everybody in the country. All your peers, they watch you. It just doesn't get better. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game. Cardinals, Colts, coming up here on EA Sports. We welcome you to Orlando, Florida for today's game. The Colts are back deep, waiting for the kick return. And Jay Feely looks ready to get this one underway. Given the quarterback position in his second year in the league. 
He came in by way of the University of Arizona and made the Pro Bowl his first year as a starter, Nick Foles. First down coming up. Foles, handoff. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Nice tackle. Always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. Offense lines up here. First down at the 28. Takes it again. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Second down now. Offense lines up here. Right back to him. They bring him to the turf. Let's take a quick look at this defense. A second round pick out of Miami in 2008. Defensive end, Calais Campbell. Well, if you give that defense a quick look, I'll tell you, Calais Campbell will get your attention. He is such a big man and has a lot of talent. He is the cornerstone of any defense he's on. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. Offense lines up here. The Colts have it at the 44. Picks up about five. Coming up, second down. They hand it off to him again. Rock for a loss on that play. Nickel formation here for the defense. Third and eight. Shakes off the hit. Knocked away incomplete. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it. So if he can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. To the 20, the fastest player to ever reach 16,000 career passing yards. It took him only 55 games played. Quarterback Matt Stafford. Matthew Stafford, with that long, loose arm that he has, he is able to throw the football 60 yards down the field with, with just little effort. Now, first and 10. Handoff made and picked up about four. As we set now the offensive lineup, one of the most physical wideouts in the league is Des Bryant. I think he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Des Bryant can catch the football. He can break tackles. He's so competitive. If you cover it, he can still beat you up and get the football. That's what you like to see from the wide receiver. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. See what they do on this third down situation. Matthew Stafford will be under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. First and ten. Play fake. Complete to Carlson. And now to be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Play action, Stafford. Reaches.
reaches out and snatches it. Taken down at the 21. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. First down following the long play. Fights through that hit. Very nearly intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Offense lines up here. Stafford from the gun. And that gains a few. That's a good job by the wide receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. Last play before the two-minute warning. Takes the snap. We're about midway, second quarter. Did not get both feet down. Half time, two minutes away. The Cardinals set now to attempt the field goal. And the kick is good for three. There's nothing like being ahead in the football game, no matter how many points it is because now you can manage it in a different way, even though it's early in this game, and you make the other team come after you. It's out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down on the way. Nickel formation for the defense here. Foles will take it from the gun. Looking across the middle. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Foles takes it from the gun. Throws to the right. On the money. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second and three. Keeps it on the play fake. He's scrambling now. Incomplete. Third down now. They bring in the extra tight end. They'll run it here. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. It's a two tight end formation. First down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Peterson that time on the tackle. First down. Offense ready for the snap. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Foles now on the move. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. Play number six coming up on this drive. Offense lines up here. From the gun, Dalton. He'll throw it over the middle. Dustin Keller makes the catch. The Colts, one timeout remaining. First down here. This play set up by the long gainer. Dalton will take it from the gun. Has it. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Colts line up now for the point after. Count it. 
the Cardinals getting ready to field the kick. Halftime is fast approaching in a game where they now trail. The score's 7-3. to three. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Colts official. Nick Foles' injury appears to be related to the upper body. Trainers are saying it is a severe injury, but would not confirm what the injury is at this time. The Cardinals getting ready now to start their drive. With this play, they'll go with two tight ends. First down at the 18. Stafford with the give. That picks up seven. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. And here we have second down. That does it for the first half. Cardinals trail in this one. This is the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. The Colts are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Cardinals didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. All right, let's roll those highlights. They take it at the 33-yard line. Quick pass and completion is made here, and he'll end up picking up 23 yards on the play. Cardinals still on the field. Here we get a quick pass and completion, and he'll be tackled at the 21-yard line. Colts line up at the 36. Out of the shotgun, pass will be completed, and the play will come to an end after a gain of 20. Sticking with the same drive. The connection is made in the middle of the field. And he capped off the long drive with the TD. They're now on top by four. Baronis will be kicking off momentarily as we get the second half underway. Smartly takes the knee in the end zone. They come to the line, and it's first down. And now here's the first snap of the second half. Tackled just three yards short of the first. Well, when you have a successful draw play, a lot of times it's up to the quarterback. As he's dropping back, if he holds that football up and makes everybody think it's a pass, it works. And then when he hands it to the running back, look at it. but then lost it on the hit. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Over to Carlson. That's a gain of eight. The Cardinals look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. First and ten. Here's the handoff. He's tackled right at the 36. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The Cardinals did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get it up, but what does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Matthew Stafford will be under center. First down at the 48. They'll go ground. That'll stop the play right there. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down. 
but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. have it at the 44. Gets the handle here. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense that time. They diagnosed the running play. They got in the backfield, and they tackled the runner for a loss. This is third down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Stafford in shotgun formation. And he's forced to the ground. They're in punting formation. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Colts come on to the field for their next series. First down at the 20. The give. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Ball is out was able to recover the ball and he's brought to the ground well the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football yeah i think the word luck is appropriate here no doubt about it bad fumble that time by the offensive player but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football the colts will take the snap from the 40. they'll go ground they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. That's awesome. Every time you pick up a first down, what does that do? It shortens the game, also keeps your defense on the sideline, and they get the, get rested up and ready for their turn. But you got a lead here. It's a small one in the second half. Keep getting those first downs. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. That leads us to second down. We're late in the game, and the offense is in no hurry. The play clock's running down. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Second down here. there to meet him that's a timeout call on the way third down Foles takes a look down from under center right back to him one more time that's been the story of this game another third down conversion to move the chains they're able to move the chains after that last run double tight end formation He'll get it again. They'll mark the football at the 22. And they're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Two tight ends on the field here. Second and four. Feeds him again. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think, so look out. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Nickel formation here for the defense.
The first down at the 16. They call his number once more. That's a gain of seven. Here in the second half, one look at these stats tells you. A big reason this team's on top today, they've been able to run the football. They have been physical all day long. It's just like this. You're in a fight. You're throwing body blows. They're working. Why go to the head and go for the knockout? Don't do it. Stay to the body. That's what they've done on the offensive side. It's third down coming up. A pair of true defensive efforts out there today that stood out. But in the end, it's a win for one side, even though the offense did not come out impressively. When you see a low-scoring game like that, Jim, it means one thing usually. A lot of hard hitting. It was tough to score. Conditions were tough. And, hey, no matter how you win, you are happy. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.